foreman. Have you arrived at a verdict? We have, Your Honor. We find the defendant guilty of all charges. He has no priors, Your Honor, but That's he's... misleading, Your Honor. He has no convictions. Are you but... telling me he's dangerous? No, Is that but what he's you're a saying? slippery little shit. Your Honor, request bail be continued bail? pending sentencing. Bail for this little sleazebag? He has no priors. He's already wasted the jury's time, not to mention your time. He has, he has no priors, Your Honor. No priors. Judge, knock him in now. You know he's gonna go down. No, Your Honor, he's a very decent family man. He wouldn't have... But he has no priors. Forget about the priors. I don't care about the priors. What do you mean it's misleading? Was he violent? No, Your Honor, he wouldn't have to flee. I mean, he was fine, but I'm asking you back. All right. All right, that's enough. All right, enough. All right, I'm going with you. I've got your bail continued. Bail? I don't want my bail continued. What do you mean you got my bail continued? Don't you understand, Mr. Plant, that they found you guilty? Guilty? What do you mean? The jury found you guilty. I'm innocent, for Christ's sake. Mr. LaPlante, I've been persuaded in view of your continued employment and your lack of prior convictions to continue your bail under the same conditions heretofore, pending sentencing six days from now. In the meantime, you'll make an appointment with the probation officer who will make a recommendation to me regarding your sentence. I urge you to use those six days to get your personal affairs in order in anticipation of incarceration. In anticipation of incarceration. Anticipation of incarceration. He means prison, Mr. LaPlante. I know what he means. I'm not a prison kind of guy, Miss O'Day. Listen, you're not doing your job here. You're supposed to be getting me off. Last time, my lawyer got the charges dismissed. I think that's why the district attorney is being so hard-nosed this time. What about an appeal? We don't have grounds for an appeal. What we have to do is focus on the probation officer's report. He gives a good report and I walk? Well, I think a suspended sentence is unlikely. Now, you still have your job, right? Yeah. I've been calling in sick. They think I got the flu. And a son by your ex-wife, Joseph? A son? Yeah. What about him? Joey. Are you involved in his upbringing? Involved? Christ, she attached my paycheck, child support. Why do you think I got a court-appointed lawyer instead of a, you know, more experienced one? I understand. How often do you see your son? The kid? I don't know. On his birthday. When was that? May, I think. She don't like for me to see him. She thinks I'm a bad influence. Well, I think you should see your son and try to get your boss to write a note about your performance on the job. You need to create the impression of a responsible, decent citizen with familial responsibilities who happened to slip up once. Um, and I know that you're having financial difficulties, Mr. LaPlante, <laughs> but I was wondering if the money that I loaned you last week... <laughs> Some of it. I'll get you the uh, rest as soon as I can. If you're a little short, I, can. Uh, I mean, it's okay. Yeah. I just don't want to take your last right. time. Right. Well, so. I better keep some of it if I'm going to see the kid for gas and stuff. Wow, look at that one. If you were in there, he'd kill you. Wouldn't he, Dennis? Yeah, yeah, something like that. You know this guy, this friend that your your mother's seeing? What is he, a fireman? Did he ever, uh, you know, like, just kind of spend the night? What's his name? Sometimes. His name is Elliot. Saved a guy's life one time in a fire. Oh, a hero. Well, was he ever in the NAM, this guy Elliot? The NAM? Yeah. What's that? It was this war, Vietnam. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Were you in it? In the war? You didn't see that picture? What picture? Me in my uniform. Used to be over the fireplace. Hmm. Hmm. See, what I don't like about public restrooms is you're always standing in piss. It don't matter to you. You got them sneakers on. But I'm standing in piss in very expensive shoes. I don't want piss on them. I want to protect them. It's a breakdown in custodial services. Look. So I lost the wallet. What? Wait a minute, where are you going? 
Aren't you going to give it to the manager? You don't want to do that. You give it to the manager, he pockets the dough, throws the wall away. We'll go out back. Most people who work in supervisory positions, I'm not saying all, are crooks. What about the check you didn't pay? The waiter knows me. I got an account here. Come on. What I'm going to do on this wall of thing is tomorrow when I get to the office, I'll have my secretary phone this guy up from the name on his driver's license. Let the guy come and get his wallet. Make sure you get a reward. You deserve a reward. You want Excuse one, don't me, you? sir. Could you spare some change? No way, fella. Not a chance. Gotta resist the urge to be nice to those people. The con artists take advantage of the soft heart. A lot of them are financially better off than the rest of us. What you gotta do is you gotta look out for number one. It sounds harsh, but it's a goddamn excuse to vulgarity jungle out there. That's why you gotta keep a low profile, right? A low profile. Hey, Bernie, where you been, pal? Some guy's been looking for me, Chick. Spanish kind of guy. Spanish kind of guy? Business thing. Give me a 7 7, will you? What is it? Five days now I don't see you? Because I'm up to my ass and shit is why I'm broke, because I got legal problems. Nobody was asking for me. Huh? Nope. Legal problems? You gotta have a good attorney. Oh. My attorney, she just out of law school a couple years old, and my kid, for Christ's sake. You got a kid, Bernie? How old's your kid? Nine, I think. Maybe ten. Yeah, ten. Nice kid. You got a ten-year-old attorney, Bernie? I can't afford no better. My ex, she attached my paycheck for child support payments. You looking for Bernie LaPlante by any chance? I didn't even know you had a kid. Think about kids since they're so young. They don't know nothing yet. When you're a kid, you think you're gonna grow up to be a wonderful person instead of an asshole like everybody else. We're all assholes, Bernie. When I was a kid, I thought I was gonna be this fantastic, wonderful, heroic human being. Are you Bernie LaPlante? LaPlante. Bernie LaPlante. Mm -hmm. You the guys that Bunny called? Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. Coño, esto no sirve, man. No está en nada. Three hours is old, man. Very old. Hey, he might not have reported him at all yet. He might not know for a couple hours. What is he doing? Fifty's pocket? Yeah. More or less. Trust me. He's a very, very fresh. Yeah? Hmm. Well, to be honest with you, it doesn't make a lot of sense to me either, Miss Gailey. Things seem to be on the upswing. Our difficulties with the SEC have been favorably resolved. In a business sense, I think we've turned the corner. Mr. Brogman, your wife and children are on their way here. Don't you think you should? Thank you for coming out here and letting me talk to you. Oh, my god, Chucky, jump down! Did you get it? Jesus, did I say that? Yeah, I got it. Sports training, learn to follow the ball. Hey, listen, how about you do your wrap up from up here? I'll pull back from that skyscraper there, find you here, then reveal the drop. Yeah! Suicide number 137 of this year in this city was neither a destitute nor a lonely man, but a successful executive with a loving family and $40 million in the bank. If there's nameless despair in executive offices, what can there be 60 stories below? where the hungry and the homeless, the brutalized and the addicted, fight their daily battle for survival. From a ledge 60 stories above the street, I'm Gail Gailey for Channel 4 News. What'd you think of the fall shot, Chief? The guy drops 20 stories in perfect focus center frame while I smoothly go from F-16 to F-5-6. Hell of a shot, Chuck. He's beautiful. Parker! Run this down to Fraser. Tell him we'll open with it at 6, 11, and 7 a.m. Bet she pushed him just for the great shot. Blind ambition. Pushed him. Oh, my God. Not really. 
Oh, he's just kidding, Mr. Wallace. Conklin's jealous because it wasn't his story. Actually, it tore up because we couldn't save the guy. She wanted to reach out. Reach out? Hi, Chief. Like the suicide? Never reach out. Hello, Mr. Wallace. He's right. It's unprofessional. No, if you reach out, you could get pulled over yourself. What are we talking about? Here? I told him how you're upset we didn't save the guy. Saving people is not our job. It's just as wrong to step in and save someone as it would be to push him off. You wouldn't push the guy, would you? I didn't say I thought we should have saved him. You didn't? No, I said I wish it had at least occurred to me to consider saving him. What good would that do? It would make me feel like a human being. Besides, it's not a bad story, is it? Newswoman saves suicide? It's unprofessional. Oh, you just can't bear the idea of good news. You're sitting on your ticket. Ticket? Uh, what's going on? She's flying in New York. She's been nominated for a Silver Mike Award. Silver Mike? You are covering us in glory. Well, I haven't won yet. I noticed you had me scheduled on a flight back an hour after the ceremony. An hour after? Deke, for heaven's sake, let's at least give her a night in New York City. I tell you what. We'll put her and her boyfriend up better. She broke up with her boyfriend. Listen, babe, we need you back. You gotta follow up on the jumper. Find the human interest in the grim, unending woe that pours from the wounded heart of the heartless metropolis. The dirt, you mean? That, too. Would this station put me up in a really good hotel? Absolutely. So long, babe. Okay, to hell with it. Party on, Gail. Is that what they say? I'll figure something out. She's pretending to be a person. She's really just a reporter. 50 bucks says she'll be back on the first flight. You know, I don't understand what you mean by a technicality, Mr. LaPlante. You were found guilty in a court of law by a jury of your peers. Yeah, but what I'm saying is the cops didn't follow the correct procedure with the evidence. You know the chain of evidence? Well, that's something that should have been established by your attorney during the trial. That's the point. I'm broke. I got this court-appointed lawyer. She's a kid. She don't know nothing. Mr. LaPlante, my job today is to make a recommendation for sentencing based on this interview. But what I'm trying to tell you is I'm not a criminal. Buying stolen goods, it's a little technical thing. Do I rob anybody? Do I hit anybody? You don't want to clutter up prisons with guys like me. Prisons are for deaf guys. Prisons are for guys who like to beat each other up, lift weights, fuck each other. I can't do that kind of time. A guy like me, I don't belong in that kind of environment. Give me a break. Look, I, I got this kid, nine, ten years old. I'm gonna take him to the movies tonight after I get off of work. He worships me. If I go to the slammer, what's this gonna do to the kid? I'm his goddamn role model, for, for Christ's sake. I don't have to explain to you how much my cameraman, editor, assignment editor, and news director, <clears throat> to name a few, did to get me this award. This is an onion. It's a metaphor for a news story. Only a few hours ago, I was standing on a ledge, 60 stories above the street, interviewing a man who subsequently jumped to his death. $40 million in the bank, happily married, good health. Great story. But there's got to be more. I mean, we're pros, right? Some kind of extramarital hanky-panky, maybe? Another great story. Maybe the guy's been accused of child molesting. Ah, oh, terrific story. What? Turns out the accusations were false. Wonderful. More story. Maybe the alleged mistress was lying, setting the guy up, huh? Sensational story. So we keep going. Oh, excuse me. Keep digging, keep investigating. We expose the guy's whole life, his family. Why? Because we're pros, because we're looking for the truth. But what if it turns out, after all our digging, after all our painstaking investigation, what if it turns out there wasn't any truth? Just stories. One story after another, layer after layer, until there's nothing left. And if it's like that, do we have any obligation to stop at any point? Or do we just keep going, digging, digging, peeling, 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 till we peeled it all away? Till we've destroyed what we were investigating in the first place? I'll bet all of you, like me, yearn for just one story. It isn't about unveiling layer after layer of human weakness. A story that reveals, with each new layer of investigation, something 
finer and nobler. Something even inspirational. Very nice, actually. Um, for excellence in the pursuit of truth. <laughs> Listen, I, I just wanted you to know that I got a seat back on the early flight after all, so. What? What do you mean you gave it to Conklin? Conklin wasn't on that ledge. Conklin wasn't the one the guy wanted to talk to. Gail, you were gonna do the town, remember? Fancy suite at the station's expense, see a show, maybe get laid. What was I supposed to do? Oh, cut the shit, Pete. You know damn well I'm not gonna hang around New York trying to get laid while you give away all my stories to Conklin. Okay, okay, you get back tonight, doll. I'll take Conklin off your suicide. Fly carefully. Congratulations on the award. What did I tell you? They're all alike, the good ones. They're junkies for the story. Can't let go. First rule out here on the streets is you gotta watch out for number one. If you go down, you break a bone or something, you're gone. Nobody's gonna pick you up. Shitty color. Look at the skin tones. Christ's sake, homeless people are supposed to have shitty skin tones. You're a VIP, right? From the most beautiful place in the world. There you go. Skin tones. You got a Fisher cut bait. I wouldn't even do this if I didn't have these legal problems. $95, that's it. I gotta get out of here. I gotta take my kid to the movies tonight, Winston. I'm late, my kid's waiting. <laughs> How about a watch? Wanna buy a watch? Same kind I got, huh? Mm -hmm. Tell you what, give me $85 for the machine, the watch. I'll throw in a couple of wheel covers, a case of insect propellant. Here, you need a uh, air filter? I know why it's raining. I could have predicted this. It's raining because my goddamn wipers are all screwed up. If my wipers were okay, the goddamn sun would be shining at night.
What's the problem, pal? Talking hundred dollar shoes here. What's his name? Sir, Fletcher! You can't Fletcher! Where, you are Where are you? Fletcher! Fletcher! Where are you, fella? Fletcher! Flat! Are you Fletcher? <laughs> Who are you? You Fletcher? Here? Oh, sure. Yeah, I think. Let me help you there. Okay. Uh, uh, uh. 
Give me a hand here, lady. I'm not a goddamn bodybuilder. Get away from the plane quickly! It may explode! <laughs> 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 Major award. 